I have a real pet peeve of when I go to fix something, whether it's the house or the car or the tractor or whatever, and I can't find the tool I need. Oh my god, I turn into such a whiny wuss. You don't, if that ever happens and you're around, just run away. Just go away. You, you won't want to be around me until I find that tool. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you spend your life on the road, your tools get scattered all over. You know, relatives have some of them here and there, and friends have some of them. Some of them get borrowed and never returned. Some of them get stolen. And it's really uh, unsettling, if that's the word. Um, so it's really nice for once in my life to have my tools all in one place and safe and sound and clean and organized. So, yeah, now I'm about to buy some more specialty machinist tools, a uh, metal lathe, and some other stuff that I need because I'm starting, I think I told you I'm starting a kind of a hobby thing of restoring antique tools. As if I have time for another hobby. But, uh, it's intriguing to take, you know, a rusty, seized, old, ugly, antique. So, like, you know, like a, like a vice, you know, something that was built a hundred or more years ago. And to get a looking brand spanking new and all shiny and painted and chromed. Yeah. It, I don't know why, it's just does something to it. trusting your instinct, which is usually right. Um, what usually happens is if their stroke was off, and their stroke was off because their body moved. And not enough emphasis or YouTube videos or pool instructors are giving enough credence to this issue. And I see it all day, every almost every day. Every time I'm playing pool, I see a decent player who can't run out and is missing because their stroke is off because their body is moving. I don't want to sound condescending, but your arm is a part of your body. So if your body moves while you're shooting a straight stroke, your stroke is going to move and it's not going to be where you aimed it. And that's why most of you guys are missing. The good news is you don't need a pool table to practice this. You can practice getting down on balls solid, robotic, and shooting through without moving anything on your body except your stroke arm and keeping that stroke arm in a straight line. Um, any kitchen table will work, any FS uh, workshop table will work, any flat surface will work as long as it's relatively as high as a pool table. And just practice getting down on the ball like a robot in a straight line on the line of aim and practice stroking through an imaginary cue ball in a straight line while keeping your body as perfectly still as humanly possible. In this coming video, you're going to see me getting on the three ball and really struggling 
with keeping with getting a solid bridge and a lot of factors went into creating a solid bridge and here's going to be a little controversy if, if you're sta a lot of it has to do with your stance and if you're standing balanced with both legs bent um, you're still going to have to put some of the weight of your body on your bridge to be able to plant that bridge as solid as you can on the table so the bridge does not move at all. So when I get down on this three ball shot, it's, it's really difficult for me to create a solid bridge. And I know that if I shoot that shot with a flimsy bridge, I'm going to miss it because my stroke is not going to be straight. So my bridge moving is causing my body to move and then it just becomes a chain reaction to where my aim is perfect but I know I can't shoot it straight so I have to get back up, take a deep breath and try to get down on the shot again and again. I don't shoot a shot until some of the weight of your body is planting down on that bridge to keep that bridge straight and you got to really really be conscious of keeping a very still body and I promise you that's the most important basic and pull. Do whatever it takes to keep your body still through the shot. Let's take a look at this table. Here's the cue ball. Here's the one ball. The one to the two. Two to the three. Three to the four. Four to the five. Five to the six. Six to the seven. 7 to the 8, and the 8 to the 9. Yeah, the 9 ball is in a little screwy place down here, and the 6 ball is getting in the game for this 4 ball. If this 6 was up the table, it wouldn't be a problem getting on this 4, but we're going to have to go through a doorway here to get back on the 4, so it's a little bit dangerous. Um, cutting this one in the corner is risking hitting this nine ball, and as you'll see, I do wind up hitting it. Two to the three shouldn't be a problem, as long as we don't get exactly straight in. Uh, let's go ahead and start rolling and see what goes on here. I take a good look at this, it wasn't in the video, but I take a good look on this one and getting past the nine to get back up on this two. And I am going to hit it slightly, just slightly on the side. But it's really uh, not much at all and it should not screw up the pattern back on the two too much. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Yeah, see, I just barely nicked it. It's short in the angle coming off this rail, but that's okay. And on this shot here, uh, we want to stay on this side of the three ball, so we're, we're shooting it from what they call the short side. Um, and that's because I have a plan to get back on this four to go two rails off this three. But the main issue here is I don't have the angle to bounce off this rail and come back on the three. So not only do I have to draw back a little bit, but I have to kill. Um, it is going to hit the rail, um, but it's just it's just not going to be hard enough to come back this far. It's just too a little too straight in, and I just don't have the angle. Um, so when it does hit this rail, I have to kill it and make sure it comes down on this side. And this is going to be shot with left bottom. It'll spin the cue ball clockwise and uh, keep it from bouncing too hard off that rail there. I think I wind up hitting the point of the side pocket, so that helped out a little bit. And I got the perfect angle on the three to get back on the four. It's just a little bit risky because we're not going through this doorway here between the 8 and the 6. We're going through the doorway between the 8 and the 5. So this is pinpoint here. 
We can hit the 5, but we can't hit the 8, because if we hit the 8, I'm not going to be right on the 4 ball, and I'm liable to be snookered behind this 6. Here's where you see me struggling on uh, keeping a steady body. I know if I shoot this, I'm going to screw up. And uh, try to pay, I think I'm going to zoom in on my bridge here, and you can see a wobbling there in my left arm, causing my whole body to wobble. I'm really having, yeah, see that? And part of the reason is because of this pocket here. It's kind of screwing up where I want to put the bridge. Um, but a bigger reason is my body is off balance. And I know it. And it's like, okay, just reset, John. So I, I just want, that's not a hissy fit. That's just telling myself, look, get settled here. Don't don't wind up shooting this while you're unsettled. Pay attention to my bridge. Still not settled, and finally, yeah, it's still not really that settled, but I just kind of forced it to settle. And it was just a bad stance throw, and it's giving me a bad bridge, which, you know, it works as a chain reaction. The aim was fine. It's just that if I had moved when I was shooting it, I would have missed, and this is, I think, the most common reason and pull especially for newer players they miss and, and even older even guys have been playing 20 30 years i see them moving their bodies all over and just figuring well i'll never be a good pull player um for some unknown reason but the reason is is because they're moving their bodies and, and it's kind of a tragedy so many people have, have given up they still love the game they still play the game but they're not good at the game and it's just that one reason if they had kept if they had learned to keep a still body they'd be playing great today but they have the experience that ball almost jumped out of the pocket Did you see that here's another one where i have to kill it has to kill the angle coming i don't want to come out with too sharp of an angle and get behind this six or hit the six and get behind the eight so i'm looking for the line on five which is right here so that's yeah, a pull back draw shot uh, with looks like uh, left hand English is that right yeah left hand English on this to get, yeah well I did wind up hitting the six kind of saved me there I just hit it at the right angle to get back on the five so this game is sloppy something's something's not exactly right with me in my game uh, there's different ways to get back on this six. So you go down to the short rail at the top of the table and come down like this. But I don't see any sense in this. I'm just going to draw it back to get on the right angle to shoot this six in this corner. Um, and this angle is a little bit tricky. You don't want to come up on the short side. You don't want to come up on the left-hand side of the six. You need to get straight in on it and maybe just a little bit to the right of this six as far as the line goes um just to just to make it easy to get back on this seven the problem with this is a potential scratch here so a lot of guys won't shoot this shoot this because of the potential scratch and you can't really blame them but i know i'm not going to scratch here although it is going to come close um, i know i got it so this is nothing, just uh, shoot it in and get on this seven ball. We got the perfect straight in shot on the six. And now here, um, the angle coming off the seven is to this rail. So it's just a matter of holding it. Um, don't draw this ball and come back up table. Um, you just want to shoot this eight in the side and roll up on the nine. But in order to do that, you need a little bit of an angle, a little bit further towards center table than where the seven is now 
And if you get on this rail, which you never really want to do, it'll still be okay because it's just a roll up. All you need is top on this ball. You don't have to put any English or any bottom on it if you get the right angle to come off this rail and get back on the nine. So we're just going to cut it right there and play the whole thing from start to finish. The one through the nine ball, so stay tuned. Oh, we got a vlog at the end. Um, if you want to hang around and watch it, go ahead and watch it. If you don't, it's cool too. Whatever you want.
you know, it looked like just a couple of minutes. It was actually hours and hours, and at the same time I was working on my car, and I seemed to have gotten it running really good. It was a fuel pressure issue. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, we're just out taking care of some stuff, and then we're going back to the house. But I've had enough working on the workplace for one day. Forgive me if I, uh, if I've shown off my tools, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> it's nice to know where something is when you need it, you know.